yes guys this is your girl so spicy top and i'm here again with a true life story guys it been a while now since i not on youtube based on the facts i was so traumatized because they killed my son i was sick and all these things happened to me but one thing guys i could tell you my youtuber i thank god i have a life and i am here now to give you some more some more about my true life story how oh, my son gets stabbed and how oh, i did feel and thing guys i just get the strength i've been off youtube since about three here now i home stressing out crying you know and everything seems to get real bad but one thing i can tell for sure thank god i have a life you know my, I was in Trinidad with my husband at the time when I get a call that my son gets stabbed in Jamaica. When my husband told me because my phone ain't working good at that time. So my auntie called my husband's phone. When my husband come inside, he told me that, So, he said yes. Shaman dead. Me just turn over and fall down. Same time on the bed. Oh my God. It was a disaster. It was a disaster. YouTuber. I could tell you that. I shock until this blessed moment. I usually cry. And every time at night I remember. Because my son is not a child where give trouble and thing he have his feel and thing everybody love my son and i tell you this it was so traumatized to hear what happened to my son he got to wake my son got to wake and while he was there he and his friend them catch a quarry and thing and one of them used a knife give it the neck give the next one a knife to stab my son one stop he faint i hear that the f the fellow who took care of my son to the hospital he was driving around up and down with my son he never make it he have eternal he have eternal bleeding inside and you know we i get like the funeral and thing my family them come together thanks be to god i have some good family they all come together and put together and we bury him. The boy who he killed my son, they said self-defense. Nobody wasn't there at the time. And if there's somebody there right now to how Jamaica run, nobody giving no statement because if you talk, if your sister kills somebody in Jamaica and you talk, sometime you're not going to live. You're not going to live because a lot of people don't understand when you call a police officer and you told he that um you told he that i saw the witness of i saw the witness of someone die sometimes the same policeman go back and tell said that is tom brown said that so right now if somebody see a crime scene they're not going and tell anyone in Jamaica because this is what happening right now in Jamaica Jamaica is getting violent more and more I am a Jamaican but I don't want to live in Jamaica you understand because what happened to my son and I see how my son died I always scared that the same people then because true true we have Google court and thing I always scared that the same people them come at me try to kill me and drive it you know because when people wrong they want right you know and i could tell you based on my experience in jamaica a lot of people was on the crime scene and no one come to court and give a statement about the killing that the person done to my son no one came and explained nothing because as i tell you before jamaica is not a nice it's beautiful but some of the people they're not beautiful and 
what I realized in my own country, that's why I said I prefer to live outside of Jamaica. And I talk in this from the bottom of my heart, we don't communicate most of the time. And we don't have love. One and few people have love, but it's not all of Jamaican people have love. Majority of Jamaican people, then they criticize one another and they will know something and we cannot talk. Because we say, if you talk, them I go say, ah, my soul go back and say, me see the man, they kill the man, they. and by a look around this evening, they come kick off my door and kill me, took off me, me a witness. So, a lot of Jamaican people, them don't want to give statement. Because even when they stop my son, why I come to YouTube and talking this? Is what happened to my son. I hear that a lot of person was on the scene and no one come to give statement to the police. It's so sad. It's so sad. But let me tell people, you never know when it's going to leak it attack your door. You never know when something bad is going to happen to your child and you need assistance. You never know. I tell you, I feel it to my heart. I have my son from when I was going to school as a early age. But I will leave that story for the next time. I tell you, but I said God is in control. And I trust God. And I know that I don't get witness from man. I get witness from God. And I know that I serve a big, great, wonderful God. I got to look high, but he always here. And I talk to God. And I know that one day, who killed my son will feel what he got through. And that is not for hunger, my son. It is for all of us. Me too. You understand? So this is what I, I don't post on YouTube for the first past two years because what's happening to my son I feel it to my heart but God see and God know God answer prayer Jamaica running away right now that we have to be careful we fr I'm afraid to go up on the road sometime but you know what True, me seek God. Me seek God in my soul. I me seek God in my life. Some people will say, oh, me a club girl. But even when they're in a club, they still have to give God thanks and praise. Even when they're on the street. Because we serve a big, great, wonderful God. This is my few words, my YouTuber. I want you to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I have a more story to tell you about how I got pregnant and I have a lot of prong to do and videos to show you. You understand? So, bye. I'm out of here. Thank you.